Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. The markets are still in a bullish mode. The Dow continues it up its uptrend. There was a shorter term resistance level it broke through, and then there was a longer term resistance level that it broke through, and it was still trading higher. And the unusual facet of this market is they are buying aggressively, meaning the market is being bought aggressively, going into the final 30 minutes every day. Good, strong buying. The Dow still well above the T line in an uptrend. The confirmation today, bah, was the NASDAQ. Friday, it came back and lowered open bounced off the T-line and came back up. Today, to see good positive trading, meaning a bobble breakout, it needed to, the NASDAQ needed to trade or close above the 50-day uh, moving average, which it did. So we had strong reversals last week, and now it's confirming that the NASDAQ is probably gonna have more upside. There's gaps to fill up in these areas. This implies at least over in the NASDAQ stocks, uh, we're, we've got more upside. There were strong sector reversals last week. For example, Tesla doing the kicker signal and now staying up above the T-line shows us the electric vehicle sector is remaining very strong. We still like QS for a longer term hold and even a short term trade with the first target being right here. You can see after the hammer signal, then they gapped it up through the T-line. They used the uh, 50 and the T-line as support on Friday and then continued up. Today's positive trading still implies there's a lot more upside to this stock. We're seeing a lot of the electric vehicle related sector stocks moving. Blink was moving strong and there was quite a few others. A lot of people ask, what do you do going into earnings. Well, the candlestick charts create the probabilities of seeing what everybody else thinks is happening going into earnings. WPRT, a big hammer signal gap up. And today it was announcing earnings after the close. So a very strong indication is if they are still buying aggressively going into the close, that tells you that the people that know what's going on in that stock likely are confident to be buying. And sure enough, uh, WPRT that we recommended uh, during the day is now trading up in this area. Hello. Hey. Yeah. I'm working on it right now. I was recording. Um, so I'm still probably about 10 minutes away. Okay, sounds great. Okay, thanks. All right, bye-bye. This essentially tells you that investor sentiment usually knows what's going on going into an earnings report. Now, if this had been an indecisive day, and you were long, you might've closed out a position or at least half the position. But just common sense logic tells you that if they're buying pretty aggressively going into the close, somebody that follows that company knows what's going to happen with the earnings. And patterns usually have much more relevancy when you see big breakout moves like we saw in eyes where we started buying at 290 because of the kicker signal we got out up here but look what's happening here a j-hook pattern why is that relevant because there was very powerful trading going on right here lots of interest then there was profit taking the j-hook pattern tells you that the uh residue strong buying now is going to start probably kicking back in, especially if they open this positive tomorrow, 
giving you a doji sandwich J-hook pattern. And notice where the uptrend started, right smack dab off the T-line. That's a very powerful uh, probability indication that the selling is over. Get ready for the next wave to the upside. Essentially, the candlestick charts put graphically uh, into uh, a depiction of what is actually happening in, in investor sentiment right at appropriate uh, support levels. Oil stocks were looking good last week, but now uh, as you can see in Occidental, it closed back below the T-line. So here's a very simple uh, trading analysis question you ask yourself. Is this the best place to have my money? Little best friend gap down, a close below the T-line, stochastics heading down. If it doesn't look good, remember you've got dozens, if not dozens upon dozens of good looking charts out there. Don't, uh, if you've got something that doesn't look good, close it out and move on to something better. So patterns produce an extremely powerful probability factor, meaning one, the, a pattern like the fry pan bottom puts you in a direction where you can much more clearly see who's in control, the bulls or the bears. Secondly, the ramifications of a breakout of a fry pan bottom is huge price moves. So you get a double bonus. You can see which way it's going. And then if they break out, you're gonna get huge profits. So right now, after we saw the kicker signal in the NASDAQ, the fact that it supported at the T-line and now have broken back up through the 50, it implies that we're still gonna be in an uptrend in a lot of the NASDAQ stocks. And right now there's nothing to show that there's any selling going on in the Dow. So the strategy may, remains fairly simple. Stay long in positions until you see a sell signal and a close below the T-line. Join us uh, March 2nd, I'm sorry, March 27th and March 28th for our two day full comprehensive training on candlestick analysis. That's two full days of sitting in front of the screens, identifying the signals that the Japanese rice traders have provided for us uh, as, for, as far as reversal signals over the years, not over the years, over the centuries, and learning the logic of the candlestick signals basically puts you in a condition or a position to be able to analyze price moves with much more accuracy. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.